Hey guys, Lodicrous here with a bit of a cheese guide for Loop Hero. This is for the PC version only. In this video, I'm going to be tweaking some in-game files to make it a lot easier to complete. So at the moment, you're looking at probably 30 to 50 hours to get the full completion or gamer score for Loop Hero. With this file tweak, you're looking more in the region of 5 to 10 hours for the full completion. Just a word of warning, sites such as True Achievements see file modification as cheating. So if you get caught, you could expect repercussions and in some cases, a ban from their website. In this video, I'll be using a dummy account and not my main. So if we go to the default install location for Loop Hero, which is Xbox Games Loop Hero content, you'll find a file called variables.ini. If you just want to make a backup of that file before we edit it, once you've got a backup, just head into the file itself and there's a few attributes in here we can tweak. These attributes are going to make the game a lot easier for us. For the, so the first one we're going to aim for is Hero Speed. This is how quick he moves around the map. I've just set that to 1 but you can set to that any variable that you wish. We're then going to move to Round Buff. So this is how much your hero gets buffed every time he does a loop. So this is for all four stages of the game. So I'm just going to set all those to 1 for this. Just below that we have enemy scale. This is for all four levels. Every time you do a loop, the enemy scale up by this amount. So we're just gonna set it to 0.1, which is about 10% every time we do a loop. The next variable we're looking for is EXP start and EXP scale. This is in relation to your hero leveling up. EXP start is how much EXP you need to first level up. So we're gonna set that to something daft like one and then EXP scale to one as well. So as soon as you start the loop, you'll only need one XP. And so once you kill your first enemy, you'll level up straight away. And then it'll scale by one. So the next time you level up, it'll be on two XP, etc., etc. So by the time you've done one loop, you've probably fully upgraded your hero and got all the abilities. The next attribute we're looking for is supplies leave. So once you've found that, you'll see that it's currently set to 10%. Every time you do a loop, you'll drop off 10% of your resources to the camp. We're going to change that to 1, so it's going to be 100%. So every time you do a loop, it'll drop all the loot off. Meaning that if you do die during your loops, you won't lose any resources and bring everything home. The final stat that I'm going to change is attack speed base, which can again can be found at near the top of the document. Setting this will give you your base attack speed when you first start your loop. By default, it's currently set to 1, but we're going to change that to something stupid like 100. So you're going to be attacking really quickly and the enemies won't have any chance to retaliate, including the bosses, which are killed pretty quickly. There is a whole host of other variables in there, but in this guide, we're just going to tweak those few. I'll be curious if you guys have been experimenting with any other settings at all. If you'd like to let me know in the comments below what worked best for you and what others might find useful. Once you're happy with the settings that you've tweaked, just save the text file and then you can go straight over to Loop Hero and load that up. You'll probably notice in the bottom right hand corner when it's loading up that it says any files have been changed. This is probably just a note to say that it's not using the base game defaults. Although it states this message in the bottom right hand corner, the achievements still do pop and there doesn't seem to be any repercussions for changing that. So once we've got to the title screen, we're just going to start a new game, or in this case a save slot, and then I'm also going to skip the tutorial. There is achievements for the tutorial, so just make sure that you do do the tutorial if you are going for the full completion. We're then just going to quickly build the camp, and then we can start our first expedition. You'll instantly notice that I'm going to be running around one-shotting all enemies. As we start, it's probably worth noting that you can go into the options menu and tweak the pause settings. By default, these are normally turned on. So every time your hero does a fight or a full loop, it normally pauses, giving you time to place tiles or equipped equipment. But in this case, we're just going to turn all the pauses off and you can just kind of leave it running. And he's just going to go round and round the map, killing all the creatures, gathering all the loot and the tiles. And then every so often, just make sure you equip some items so he doesn't die. And also stick a few tiles down to make sure that you do start gathering resources, etc, etc. But if you have played Loop Hero previously, you probably note that it probably takes you maybe in the region of 10 to 15 attempts to complete the first level usually because it is so difficult. It's normally a case of dying, gathering resources, 
leveling up your character or your camp a little bit, rinse and repeating, slowly building up momentum before you can finish the level. But with these file tweaks, you should be able to whiz through all the levels first try without any issues. Although you are OP and you can probably whiz through the first four levels without even dying, there is a number of achievements that involve you fully upgrading your base camp, for example, which is going to involve gathering a hell of a lot of resources and doing a lot of loop runs. But if you've played Loop Hero before, you'll note that this is dramatically a lot quicker than actually going for the full completion with the standard default settings. In terms of commentary, that's about it from me. I'm going to let the rest of this video play out. It'll show you this full level one being complete with relatively ease, including the end boss, including showing you that the achievements do pop even with the tweaked file. Just be aware that if you are using sites such as True Achievements, this is frowned upon and you could be investigated if you are caught doing this. Otherwise, if you found this video guide useful, as always, please like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.